I'm being truthful, I wanna be honest. Definitely was definitely more toxic and causing more fights. Sometimes verbally abusive. Hey guys, it's Randomizer here. Today in this video, we're gonna be talking about Austin McBroom. Just kidding, we're actually gonna be talking about Landon McBroom, uh, which is Austin McBroom's younger brother, obviously, by uh, the, last the last name there that I just said. Um, yeah, anyways, so Landon is quite similar to, um, like, he makes quite similar content to um, his older brother, Austin. And um, Landon is about four or five years younger than um, than Austin uh, than Austin McBroom is. Um, obviously, you know, because he's because I said younger, younger brother. So he's you know he's quite a bit younger than Austin, but still um, he makes his own content that is similar to Austin's style of content. He does vlogs. He shows off his kids and his girl and all that jazz. And, and kind of just, you know, his, his vlogs did gain some, Landon's vlogs did gain some traction because they were quite similar to Austin's vlogs and all the other stuff that Austin McBroom makes on his channel called The Ace Family. Uh, so on The Ace Family channel, um, Landon's content was quite similar to that, and it did have an initial peak for him. However, you know, kind of, sort of, all good things have to come to an end, and, uh, unfortunately, Landon, like Austin, it, they're, both Landon and Austin are quite similar. They're both not very nice or good or respectable people, and, uh, that would lead to Landon's downfall because of this the scummy actions that, um, the scummy actions that he did, and it let, and it led to his vanishing recently, and when he returned, well, find out in this video, um, how all that went, spoiler alert, you know, a little spoiler here, it wasn't a very good return for Landon, anyways, here is the rise and fall of Landon McBroom, enjoy it now. So more about Landon McBroom. Um, he is, a, yeah, obviously he's a YouTube star. He was born on September 26th of 1996, which makes him 25, as I just said previously. And um, he is like his brother. He is a, he's an athlete like his, uh, like his older brother, Austin. And um, he graduated from high school around 2015, 2015, 2016-ish. And he started his YouTube channel in 2017. Um, his ex now, but, um, she was his former girlfriend, Shyla. They started dating and in December of 2019, they had a daughter named Soline. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. So as I just said there, um, so Landon started his YouTube channel, which is called L and S, meaning Landon and his now ex-girlfriend, as I just said, shit. Shyla, so Landon and Shyla, but for short, it was LS, okay, you, you get that now, so Landon started his YouTube channel in 2017, and I just said the name of it, and so that was, that was about a year and a half after Austin started his channel, The Ace Family, so, um, yeah, um, yes, I, I guess little Landon here decided to take some inspiration from his, from his big, um, I guess, role model of a brother. Well, quote unquote, quote unquote, uh, role model. Um, well, I'll, I'll talk, you know, Austin was a quote unquote role model, I guess, to Landon. Not really. We'll talk more about that later in the video. But, uh, yeah, I guess Landon got the inspiration from Austin, but also, um, in reality, it, it, I mean, here's the thing. Uh, Landon's channel was about um, him and his girlfriend. So here's it. Landon's channel was about um, basically what he did in his channel was um, was basically showcase the everyday life of of him and Shyla. So him and Shyla, and um, eventually, I, I eventually I guess their daughter too. Not really. I mean. You know, th this was kind of, I mean, his daughter was born in 2019, um, 
Once again, as I, as I said earlier in the video, she was born later than the channel was started. But, uh, but um, yeah, and honestly, in reality, Austin also, um, before, no. So before his other children were born, uh, Austin only had one child, which was, which was L. So mainly the channel was kind of the same thing, the same concept that Landon was doing. They would showcase the everyday day-to-day -day life of Austin and Catherine, who seemed like an un, seemed like an untouchable couple, um, as well as show off, um, I, I guess how good Elle's life was, not really, but, uh, yeah, uh, honestly, Landon, uh, overall, Landon's channel, um, while it did skyrocket at first, because people like watching, people like seeing relationships online, um, like that, uh, like Landon's, but, oh, overall, it honestly just, Landon really, his content was really stale overall, and he brought nothing new to the table, because, um, y you know who else was really big, like, really big, probably big, probably a bit bigger than Landon, you know who else was big, and just started out and was doing the same thing that Landon was doing, the Ace family, that was their literal big competitor, that was frickin' Austin McBroom, who was competing now against Landon, and unfortunately, Austin was kind of winning because his views, um, since Landon started late, it, if Landon were to start at the same time that his brother did, or, oh, sorry, if Landon were to start at the same time that his brother, Austin, started his YouTube channel, or if he even started a little bit earlier, earlier, or just a tiny bit later than a year, Landon probably would have been really good and had some, I guess, more initial success. But since, but since Landon st started a year, like a year, over a year later than his brother, Landon was honestly starting to plateau in people's eyes. He was just now seen as a um, an Austin McBroom knockoff. And unfortunately, well, Landon was also the same person that Austin was. He was not what he showed. He was not what he presented online. Um, you know, he, he showed off how he was such a, oh my God, I'm such a great boyfriend to my girlfriend, or I'm such a great he hubby to my wifey over here, when in reality, off camera, um, that was actually quite the opposite. Oh, I'm such a great father. No, you're not. Unfortunately, yeah. So overall, yeah. Landon was also the same as Austin in terms of how good of a person was he, how much integrity he had for people, and that was sadly zero for both A and L. And yeah, I mean Landon. Landon too. Okay, so so now at this point in the video, I'm I'm just gonna shut up and I'm just going to showcase the rest of Landon's downfall Downfall because at this point on in his career, things just start to unravel. And because Landon is also not this guy that he presents on camera, yeah, this, this makes his downfall even more rapid. And uh, now I'm going to show you a couple of things. I'm going to show you a couple of things um, that proves, you know, this pretty much shows that Landon is a bad person, and uh, this overall, what I'm about to show y'all, uh, pretty much, you know, it showcases the rest of his downfall, and it was it was not the pretty downfall, no, yeah, yeah, it really wasn't a pretty downfall, and this would um this would eventually lead to this would eventually lead to Landon and Shyla breaking up because of what was really revealed about them, and this would also lead to Landon disappearing off the internet. Same with Shyla. She also took a break off the internet, and and sadly, you know, sadly Landon returned, and uh, it doesn't, you know, it's not too good. All right, I'm going to shut up. I'm going to shut up pretty much for the rest of the video, and uh, yeah, yes, um, ju just watch. Just watch what I'm about to show you. Watch this.
Okay, and this is my second and my final attempt to film this. Um, I'm literally filming it on my phone right now. My camera battery died and I just want to move on. I don't want to be associated anymore. I don't, I don't want this anymore. I just want to move on and continue to be happy with my daughter and that's all I want. Let's start. Um, Landon and I, we broke up. He was abusive physically, verbally, emotionally, you name it, our entire relationship, which he's admitted to. I want to be truthful, I want to be honest. Definitely was definitely more toxic and causing more fights, sometimes verbally abusive too. Um, I honestly wanted to get out of that relationship when, um, you know, right before he had, he got diagnosed with cancer. I wanted to get out of that relationship. I just knew it wasn't good. I stayed because I thought that was, you know, gonna be his second chance of life. I had spent my entire adult life with this man. I had started a family with him. I wanted to have a family for my daughter. I wanted things I went after. I wanted a family. I never grew up with that. And I, I wanted that for her so badly. And so I held on for that. And I thought, okay, like he, you know, he's just maybe going through something, but I knew it was coming to an end when he let me know, like, you know, there was one one day in particular um, and I was crying and I was really upset. And I said, like, what are we doing? Are we going to be together? Like, I don't understand. I don't understand. And he was like, well, I want to do whatever like the F I want to do. These are his words. I want to do whatever the F I want to do. I want to live like my brother. I want to be like my brother. And at that point, I was like, it's probably not going to work out from here on out. So the very same night. Um, so. I was just crying, like I felt my heart was broken. I felt like I'd lost everything I'd known. I was losing my family. I was losing, you know, the closest person to me. I felt like he was my best friend. I was really upset that day and he came over to me. I was sitting on the bed, he was sitting across from me and he came over and he began hugging me and kissing me and saying like, I love you, it's gonna be okay. Like it's gonna work out. And I'm like, don't say these things if you don't mean them. Like I'm broken. He's like, no, I mean them. And just like, and so I was like, maybe like, he does love me still, you know? And I was like, I was a little hopeful. He had left um, that day and that evening, um, he would stay in Joe's room most of the time, honestly. He'd sleep in there almost daily. But that night I was I was just on my on my phone in bed and um, I came across his Instagram and I was like, well, he has no pictures on here. He deleted every picture of him and I and it posted something on his story along the lines of like, who wants to go on a date or something? And I had felt like my soul leave my body. You know that TikTok and it's like Popeye's biscuit. Ah, like I felt that like, ah, like I. Normal people, you and I, I see what happens. Like we're in See y'all in the next one. Goodbye.